Hi and welcome to Diving Head First. This is my first new video in a very long time. Um, yeah, I had a lot of life things going on. I moved and I'm still figuring out the best work situation in this new apartment because my room is smaller. Um, and but yeah, um, today I wanted to, I've been doing also just a lot of projects that aren't new and so just like redoing old projects and stuff like that so I didn't really have anything interesting to make a video about but I've been getting into embroidery a lot lately um probably part of the past like year um and I wanted to go through um the little embroidery kit that I made for myself that like I bring with me when I'm like traveling with my embroidery or just like around my apartment it's like a little set that I made for myself that like I kind of wish I like knew about when I started like this is just what I've cobbled together from like the stuff that I like f tried out and I like from all of the different things that I've tried out so far so I keep everything in this little bag it has two zippered pouches um, within it. It's a Kipling bag. It's kind of expensive. This was a splurge for my birthday and it was on sale. Um, and I, because R2-D2 is my favorite. Um, but I really just like that it has two zippered pouches because what I do is that one side has all like my needles and threaders and stuff like that and the other side is just for thread. So then I don't have like thread all like mixed up and like just a big mess in with all of the like tools that I need. So I'll bring you through my tools and then obviously the other side, the thread I really just, it's a big mess right now you can see. But really I just like to keep, um, generally if I'm working on a specific project I'll have the colors that I'm currently working with in there. Um, just so like because I like to also work on like the subway on my commute and like I went on a cruise and this went with me and then like I just have this and then I'll have a project bag that actually is the hoop with it all of the, like that I'm actually working on and maybe like a couple of pieces of fabric or two that would work with the same hoop um, if I'm on a longer trip um, so the tools that I like the first thing that I want to talk about is needle savers, needle minders. That I did not find these until like a couple, like only a couple months ago, and they're amazing. Like they save me so t many times from like poking myself or the needle going somewhere stupid. So these are basically, it's this. This is like just one design. They come in a bunch of different, like you, a bunch of people make them in different designs. Um, but basically, oops, um, it's a magnetic enamel pin basically. And so this is the front and this goes on the top side of your hoop. I'll insert other footage of this here. And then this goes on the back side of your hoop and then it keeps, and then it like magnetics together but your fabric will be in between on your hoop and then your needle your needle will just magnetic onto it and so while you're working if you need to stop and take a break instead of putting extra holes into your fabric or on just having like extra fabric on the side and sticking the needle into there then you can just have this somewhere on your hoop and it will just you could it will be a place that you could always put your needle um i personally really love these i actually have a couple um and i'm contemplating making more um but yeah this has been my absolute favorite thing um the next thing is folding scissors i have a couple different types of folding scissors these are my favorite i the problem with these is that i they're fiskers but I bought them in a set with a actual like full size uh, scissors and I kind of bought, bought the full size scissors just to get this one <laughs> because I really want because like there are metal ones that like uh, that are 
more common and easier to find. And I don't know where mine are right now. Um, but I find that they like cut into your fingers and like I just kind of painful. So I don't really love those. Um, and like these fold up really nicely, just like the metal ones. So you just, it folds like this. And also I like this one because the tip is rounded. So then when I'm carrying it in my bag to places, I've had some places where I have like a, even a, f a lot of folding scissors that have like sh short enough blades where they're not like a security issue, but because they have a pointy tip, some security places, some security doesn't like it. But yeah, it folds up into this tiny thing. I actually never really keep it folded up this way because I have space in my bag to keep it fully folded out. But if I needed to, I could fold it up. Um, but yeah, so I really love this one. This is my favorite. I have not found it for sale by itself, which I would like to because I would like to have more than one. Um, but I do have, I do keep, I do have like another scissor in here that I don't actually know where it's little case is right now. But this I just bought when I was on vacation in Seattle in this little craft shop just because it was pretty. Oh, there you go. So it's super pretty. It's oil slick and, um, but yeah, this one I've had problems where I'm, I have it in my bag and like, it's not even like TSA security because like these blades are not sh long enough for TSA to have a problem with them. It was like security at like, uh, I was thinking I was going to a concert or a show, um, somewhere and like you were going through security because I live in New York City, so you go through security a lot. Um, and they just saw something pointy and sharp in my bag, and it was this. <laughs> and they were like, what do you have in your bag? <laughs> and like tried to like, they wanted to like search my bag because of it. Um, so these I don't necessarily carry everywhere, even though they do have like a little like sleeve that goes over them. It is really cute, but those are not, also they're not the sharpest. So I don't love them. It's more just that they're pretty. <laughs> um, and then, sorry, all my needle minders are are magneting onto this. So this is my next thing. It's a little box that I keep all of my needle, my like sewing needles in. These are all my hand like embroidery needles. Um, this is just a DMC like case. They come in different colors and like this the reason why they're all sticking like that is because there's one like magnet in here that to keep them all in place um, and the cover just slides on. Um, and that's why my needle minders are magnetic onto this um, because they kind of just cling to this when I have them in my bag. <laughs> um, but yeah this is really handy just because um, if you're working on something and you want to change the size of your needle, oh, that's my fresh wrap delivery. One second. Sorry about that. That was my fresh drag delivery. Um, I, that was actually my first, first fresh, fresh drag delivery at this new apartment. I was using it a lot when I had, um, when I was in full flare of my psoriatic arthritis, but, uh, now I just was really busy this past week, so I did a fresh del direct delivery. Um, I don't do them always, because also I just wanted to buy some things that like are not easy to carry in New York City. Um, sorry, let's get back to the embroidery kit. <laughs> um, so I have two different types of needle threaders that I like to keep. Um, this first one I absolutely love for embroidery and it only works with embroidery needles because this, let's see if it will focus, this part here is too thick to go through normal like sewing needles. Only embroidery needles will have a big enough eye hole for this to go through but it's really h handy when you're going, when you're doing like thicker multiple strands. Um, uh, and just so you don't break the next kind of needle th <laughs> threaders that I use. So I buy these, these are like the normal needle threaders, they just have like a plastic base. Um, I buy these in bulk. These plus the ones with the plastic bases I find last a little bit longer, but like 
I think I got like the pack of 20 of them for like five or ten bucks so and like haven't gone through many of them but it's just handy so that like you have plenty extra whenever it does break because these little wires do if you're gonna focus these little wires do break very easily especially when you're using embroidery stuff pardon the puppy barking in the background um so yeah that's I think that's about it um I do use the um plastic like little bobbins for my thread organizing I'm not very good about numbering these or um labeling them at all which I need to get better about but Currently my what thread I do have does not get labeled and then all the thread that I don't keep in here I have just one of those plastic storage boxes um, that they all go into um, So yeah, um, I just wanted to do a quick tips about that um, About like what what how I built out my embroidery kit because I really like it. It's been handy um, I generally don't need to go get other things when this is just for like when I'm currently sewing I can do another video on like how I'm doing transfers um, And stuff like that um, to get my designs onto the fabric um, And sorry for the horribly chapped lips <sighs> Winter has not been kind to my lips and Going to a dermatologist soon because nothing over the counter is working. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get better about making videos again. Um, and so hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye.